Well, good day everybody, where's Wally here? Now, I can science that. It's been brought to my attention that he's going to do a project. And I reckon this is a project that we can all have a go at. I love doing some demonstrable science. So, why don't you pop over there? The link is up here in the top corner and in the description as always. And while you're over there listening to what to do and why we're going to do it, how about you click and like and subscribe to this guy? I reckon he's already a great channel and criminally undersubscribed. So there we go. I have a shout out. Get over there on I Can Science That and like and subscribe to him. But this is where I'm going to go off piste because this is not just a mirror and a shout out for this channel. This is going to be a challenge for Leo, Adam, Level Earth Observer, and Dell, Beyond the Imaginary, whatever it is. So how about you two guys? I would love you guys to do this too, because this is actually demonstrable science, and all it is is getting outside and sticking a stick in the ground. I'm sure even you two guys can manage this. But wait, there's more. Should you guys decide to get involved, I would love you to get your subs involved. How about you do a quick video like I'm doing now, and ask your subs to get out there on the solstice and stick a stick in the ground for science. Because really, what do you guys got to lose? Oh, I know exactly what you've got to lose. Your little pantomime fantasy fest that the Earth is flat. But anyway, at least you'll be able to say you actually do some demonstrable science rather than just complain that no one else does it. So I'm sure as soon as Adam listens to this, the virtual running away will commence at great speed. So this will be fun to watch. Thanks, guys. Oh, and finally, for those who missed it today, um, MC Toon had a Flat Earth pilot on, and he was chatting away to him for a while, but he managed to reach out to Wolfie, who was sitting around in his hotel room doing squat all, and Wolfie got on, and this was absolutely brilliant talking to this guy. He seemed like a nice enough bloke, but he was totally outclassed by Wolfie. Now, Wolfie, of course, is an educator of pilots from ages ago, so he knew exactly everything he needed to say. And when our little flat earth pilot mate was saying that a plane would go flying off into space if it wasn't nose down all the time, well, anyway, i tell you what, I'll let you have a listen to this bit. I'll edit it into a nice short little clip because this is absolutely brilliant. Wolfie had him like a cattle dog rounding up sheep through the fence. So just have a listen as me mate Wolfie has a chat with Quincy and manages to talk him down quite well. Now, now... The, another argument some flat earthers have claimed is that if you make no corrections, the plane will fly off into space. Have you heard that? Uh, that's that's what uh, I believe. That's what you believe. Okay. Yes. What 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 aircraft do you fly? What aircraft do you fly? Uh, uh, Cessna one seventy two. Okay. RG. What what is what is the published service ceiling for that aircraft? Uh, about about sixteen thousand. Okay, what does that mean? So that means that at at any further height, an increase in angle of attack will cause a stall. No, wait. At any further uh, higher angle of attack, we, we're gonna we, the, the plane's gonna uh, stall. Okay, so 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 you agree that even if you tried, even if you tried, you could not get your Cessna up to twenty five thousand feet. Even if you mm. tried to do that, no way. Okay, thank you. So, how how could it possibly fly off into space? Well, I mean, obviously, obviously, it can. We're, we're talking about we're talking about flying off into space. Okay, right, you, right. You, because you, you, you talked about the absolute ceiling of the aircraft. Okay, my my aircraft can get up to fifty one thousand feet, but there is no way. I could take it up to 70,000 feet. It just There's doesn't no have way. It, it doesn't but, have the performance. So so if I if I do nothing, if I'm flying on a, a globe earth and I do nothing and the aeroplane is flying a straight line, which means it would climb, it would climb, there would be an aerodynamic limit at which point it could no longer climb any further and the nose would automatically drop, whether it just be due to aerodynamic stability or by stalling. So it could not fly off into space, could it? No, because the earth is flat and it, it flies straight. Okay, so so the so the aircraft cannot go above a certain altitude based on aerodynamic and performance limitations. Aerodynamic, yeah, right, exactly. You agree with because that? You agree with that? Okay. 
So, so you agree the claim that a plane could fly off into space is ridiculous because of aerodynamic and performance limitations. We fly the level that proves that, that we're not on a sphere. We're not on a sphere. There's no way we're in a sphere. You agree there is an absolute ceiling. The aircraft cannot go above that. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. right, right. So, so if, if you try to go above that, then simple physics will stop you. Right. Yeah, okay. So, so flat earthers say that if, and I'm not saying all of them, I'm not generalizing, I'm saying some flat earthers claim that if the plane flies straight, it would fly off into space. But you and I now agree that there is a physical limit where it could not fly any higher due to aerodynamic and performance limitations. So there's a natural barrier preventing it going off into space. We're saying that there is a limit that will naturally prevent it from flying off into space if it's flying on a globe. And that limit is the absolute ceiling, which is dictated by um, aerodynamics and the performance of the aircraft. Okay. Are we happy with that tune? Happy to just move on from that one? Sure. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, so finally, Adam, what I really, really, really want from you is to debate Wolfie. After Wolfie's excellent adventure today into the into uh, MC Tunes channel, I think that would be the perfect spot to do it. I'm sure MC Toon would love to have Wolfie and Leo on there. Well, you know, you don't mind being on there. You were in the comments for a while after I pointed it out to you and you jumped straight in. So how about it, Adam? Jump in and debate Wolfie live on MC Toon. And I tell you what, everybody else, whenever you see Adam in the wild for the next couple of weeks, hashtag debate Wolfie all over him. Let's see if we can put the pressure on him. Don't talk about anything else to Adam except hashtag debate Wolfie. So Adam, if you're a little bit worried about showing your face to the world, how about you just, you know, wear a mask the whole time? No harm in that, is there? Let's just annoy him real bad. This is going to be so fun. I love it.